Hello, this is Alistair Young at RedHunter.com. This video will show how to make an alternate translation table for the ACE128 library should you decide to wire different pins uh, into your uh, device between your expander chip and the ACE128 itself. You might want to do this if you're making a single-sided PCB um, or just playing about on the breadboard and you're just curious how this stuff works. Um, so, or in the case of uh, this device, which is our uh, little product I made, um, it actually uses a reverse direction pin because the chip is on the back and the pins go around anti-clockwise on both devices, so I had to reverse the direction of the pins. The way you make one of these uh, little include files, and the include files live... So here, here's the effect, actually, if you have... Uh, a couple of pins swap. We've swapped pins one and two here, or zero pin zero and one. Uh, and as you can see, we're getting gobbledygook. It, it used to work. In the, if you saw the introductory video uh, for testing the device, all we've done here is swapped two pins, and it's all messed up. It's not working. So we need a new include file. So our include files live in uh, under your Arduino folder in libraries, ACE128, you'll find these little uh, uh, .h files and uh, they look like um, they look like this um, which is a big uh, table of numbers, 256 numbers, these get stored in progmem so they don't eat up all your RAM uh, but we need a new one of these. Uh, so we'll close that down just now and we will open up our magic examples ACE128 a make encoder map. So here we have make encoder map. Uh, <coughs> now we switched pins 1 and 2 so in the pin order array we need to switch to 1 and in the pin string, which is for people to look at and to name things so we don't collide, we switch that as well. And here's the actual binary uh, values that are on the single track that are in this ingenious little device. And then there's some code here that uh, does um, bring up our serial monitor. And what we do is we load this sketch that we've modified into our Arduino and we wait and it pops up and it spits out an include file and we simply control a control c uh, mac users may use other buttons sorry i don't do macs uh, we go back to our editor and we'll do a control a control v to replace the contents looks good and we'll do a file save as, uh, change the type down here to all files so you get, don't get messed around with your file extensions and change the name to the new sequence, 21. So 21345678 and we'll save that guy. Let's close this off. We'll go close that guy. No, we don't want to save the changes get rid of our serial monitor and we go back to our sketch here. So here we want to change uh, to use the new include file. So we'll change the include there. We'll change the object reference down here in our declaration and we should be good to go. Uh, we'll load that up into our Arduino and it's all loaded it's all happy and now as you can see boom boom we are now working see kept the camera on all the time this is not magic I did not change the pins I changed the code that's how you make a new include file for the ACE 128 encoder uh, the one you would want to use for my little product board uh, is written on the board it says 87654321 that one is actually included with the library, so you don't have to do all this fun stuff we just did. Uh, thank you for watching.